Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Let me tell you something. Floyd Mayweather, we need you back. Show these boys a real boxer puncher. Show them. Because you still get ridiculed. They want to criticize you, want to compare themselves to you, say they're better than you, want to say that you cherry picked everybody, want to say that you ran from everybody in the ring, you never stood and held your ground. Some even say in today's climate that you would lose, you in your prime, Crawford in his prime, Earl Spence in his prime, Porter in his prime. Thurman is his prime. Canelo in his prime. That all these guys would beat you. Floyd, it's time for you to sit there, man. Hit me up. P.O. Box is fine. I'll mail you a don't take it to the stupid t-shirt. Because let me tell the world, man. Mr. Floyd Mayweather, Mr. 50 and 0, 27 KOs. Floyd Mayweather ain't getting in the, wasn't getting in the ring, running and just being scared and not the least, you know, making his uh, opponent pay. Floyd Mayweather, man, was very, very intelligent in the ring. How the hell can anybody sit there and watch what we watched last night and let the words come out your mouth that Shakir Stevenson will beat Floyd Mayweather? Prime for prime, at the same weight. How in the world can anybody say that crap of Devin Haney will beat Floyd Mayweather? When you look at Floyd's performances, and you look at these two young guys who are in their prime, and you take Floyd Mayweather when he was there around their age, or forget the age, when he had about the same amount of fights as them, what was he doing in that ring? Right? People want to talk about, oh, well, his last fight was against Conor McGregor. He, he, that was a retirement fight. He earned that. Well, before that, he fought Andre Berto. Hey, and he made Andre Berto look crazy. Andre Berto was the champion. But this was towards the end of Floyd Mayweather's career. He hooked Andre Berto up. They were friends. But then he fought Manny Pacquiao. Well, y'all said he was scared of Manny Pacquiao. Y'all said that he couldn't beat Manny Pacquiao. Some people felt the fight took too long to come to fruition. And he got in there. Then Manny Pacquiao made an excuse because uh, supposedly he had some shoulder injury. But Floyd went out there and just, you know, outpointed him and outworked him. Marcos Maidana, yeah, he fought him twice. In the first one, Floyd was getting banged up pretty good, but he, he held his ground. He was catching him on the inside, using that right hand, that shoulder roll, and did what he had to do to get the win. The second fight, we saw what happened. Pretty easy. Although Maidana landed that big boom of a right hand on Floyd, if there was another 15 seconds in that fight, I think Maidana would have got the win. And that's just being real. Before that, then before that. He fought Alvarez. How you go from Alvarez to Maidana? Now, y'all think about that now. Canelo. People talk about, uh, that, that Canelo wasn't in his prime. The hell out of here. Floyd Mayweather was an old man. Got in with Canelo, gave him the business. After that, went right to the Maidana fight. Because Maidana had damn near killed bro. Before Alvarez was Robert Guerrero. Robert Guerrero was out here, man, tranquilizing people, handling business. Got into it with Floyd, trying to throw the big left hand, trying to be cute. Floyd just embarrassed him. Shaquille Stevenson and Devin Haney ain't going to sit there and hold that ground, man, and punch in between and counter and, and get underneath shots and then come up and counter and roll out and counter again and drop the opponent. That's the thing. And we'll drop you. They're not doing that. They get somebody in there with some power. Mm -mm. They ain't trying to stand in front of them. Floyd Mayweather will sit there and he'll move, but he'll, he'll stand there in front of you. And what'll happen is those opponents realize, damn, he's got some power. And then they start changing their approach. They ain't so quick to run in there on Floyd no more. But they'll run in there on Devin Haney. They'll run in there on, Cam on uh, uh, Shakir Stevenson. Because Floyd's the real boxer puncher people. Floyd evolved his style. We understand the hand issues getting old and having to figure out a different way to keep winning fights. 
So I, I understand it happens. He still had the damn, had the punch to make these fighters think twice and know you can't just run in on them. Don't take my word. Listen to what Shane Mosley said. When they asked him, how, does, does Floyd have power? He's like, oh, yeah. He said, he can hurt you. And that's when Floyd throwing single shots. That's why it's no surprise Floyd, in them first like 25, 30 fights of his career, just tranquilizing people. There's no surprise. And you look at before Guerrero, he fought Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto was out there training with that Cuban coach, out there getting his blood drawn and testing his oxygen levels and all kind of crap. Mm -hmm. Science. They were doing a scientific experiment on Cotto. Cotto came in there like a damn half man, half machine. Some kind of android. And Cotto put some work in on Floyd, but Floyd chose to stand there and exchange with him. Got his nose bloodied up. Got banged up a little bit. But what you see happen, he almost he was hurting Cotto. And then that last round almost knocked him out with uppercut. So, so Floyd had and always, he always had that, that damn punch. He is what you call a boxer puncher. Shakir Stevens had every opportunity last night to show the world that he's him at 135, he's bigger, he's stronger, he's the boxer puncher. He's just a boxer. Now, with the shots you don't see, those are the ones that hurt you. But he was facing a puncher, and he didn't want nothing to do with that. When Floyd gets in there with those punchers, he says, okay, you the puncher here in these first couple of rounds, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that it turns into me being the puncher. Because I'm gonna tech, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you miss, I'm gonna make you pay, I'm gonna make you second think yourself. And now you're gonna be going back. Let me tell you something. It's just like when Floyd Mayweather dad told Oscar De La Hoya when he was fighting Ricardo Mayorga. You got a man who doesn't back up backing up, you know his ass is in trouble. And Oscar De La Hoya was another boxer puncher. He hit you with that damn left hand, you you out of there. But that's what we're seeing here with these guys like Shakira and Devin Haney. Man, y'all should never, ever talk no shit about Devin Haney and Shakira Stevens is better than Floyd Mayweather. And y'all can say what you want about Daniel Hoy. You know he's a little quirky. Some of his business is kind of out there, so everybody judges him now. But don't ever say that none of these guys would have beat no damn Daniel Hoy. Stop that. Okay? Because once they would have felt the lightning from the left hand of Daniel Hoy, these motherfuckers would have got on their bicycles. I don't give a fuck what no one says. Don't don't even dare. How dare you say that? Now, I'm rooting for Devin Haney and Shakir. I think for this era, those guys are exceptional talents, but they ain't no damn boxer punches. They're, they're just not it. And if you look at Floyd Mayweather before Miguel Co before Miguel Cody fought Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz, I'm going to tell you, I think he hurt Floyd Mayweather. That's why Floyd Mayweather fell back into the ropes. He hurt him. He had him going. But then Victor Ortiz played himself and tried to headbutt him. Stupid. And then Floyd did to him what I think he should have done to him. I think he, matter of fact, I think he should have kicked him in his face while he was on the ground. Headbutt you in your face. Could have broke his nose, knocked his teeth out. Could have changed his appearance the rest of his life. All because you can't control your emotions in the ring. I think I think he should have got his ass stomped out after he after Floyd, you know, uh, you know, he chomped him. And, you know, I, I support that. I think Floyd should have done that. I think he should have done worse. I don't like that. Headbutt somebody like that, that's that's crazy. And before they fought Shane Mosley, we all know Shane Mosley got lightning in his hands. We know that, and he showed us in that fight. But what ended up happening? Floyd Mayweather showed that he's the boxer puncher, and he became the puncher. He up. Mosley almost got him out of there. Then before that, he fought Juan Manuel Marquez. Some people give him credit for that win. Some don't. Marquez was small. He brought him up. Weird catch weight. Floyd was wrong for what he did. Blah, blah, blah. Before that, Ricky Hatton, he fought De La Hoya. Okay. Some people say he lost the De La Hoya fight, but he, he moved, he boxed, but he held his ground too. He fought. Baldemir, we saw what happened in that fight, Zab Judah. He boxed, and then he started, you know, coming forward and holding his ground. Sean Bay Mitchell was a good fight. If y'all never seen Floyd Mayweather fight Sean Bay Mitchell, y'all need to go watch that fight. Matter of fact, Sean Bay Mitchell in his prime against Shakir Stevenson and against Devin Haney. Who wins? Let's be for real. Who wins? Arturo Gotti in his prime against Shakir Stevenson and Devin Haney. Who wins? Interesting fight, right? Neither one of them are going to make Arturo Gotti look how Floyd Mayweather made him look. Y'all got to get this shit out your minds, man. 
that Shakir and Devin are boxer punches. They have not proven that. They're great boxers, but when the real deal starts, when the bullets start flying, now nah, they're looking at that little weapon they have there. They're like, man, I can't come out here and pium pium when this guy is guzzle 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 karata ta 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 ta. What the hell is a pium pium gonna do when somebody's out there guzzle 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 ra ta 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 ra ra ra? The little pium pium ain't stopping that ra ra ra. They better go back to the drawing board and figure it out. Floyd Mayweather, man. I know Floyd ain't no spring chicken no more. Need that man back in the sport of boxing to show these boys. They, I want to, you know, I know they look at his footage. Watch that man's footage. But I tell you what, you can't recreate that. It's like Sugar Ray Leonard. You can't recreate that. Hearns, you can't recreate that. You kind of got damn close with, with uh, Terrence Crawford, though. Terrence Crawford pretty damn close. But he just don't, he, he don't seem to be as fast as... Uh, as Hearn, but he got that power, he's long, lanky, and he's mean like that. But you just can't recreate some of these guys from the past, people. And don't come out here when you're watching these guys and their performances and, and, and take it to the stupid and say, oh, they're there. Yeah, they would have beat a prime Floyd Mayweather. Oh, yeah, Floyd Mayweather wouldn't have stood a chance against a Shakira Devin Haney. Then you see Shakira getting there last night and totally failed the test. I want to hear nothing about no hand injuries and all that, man. Shut up. Stop. Stop. You, that was supposed to be the springboard to a mega fight. You ain't going nowhere now, Shakir. That's why he didn't want to call anybody out. I would have called somebody out. I would have said, yeah, my hand was hurt, but I still wanted to fight. I still want Tank Davis. My hand will be healthy, blah, blah, blah. That's what I would have said. Now, I want Devin Haney. Now, yeah, I fought with one hand. I hurt my hand in training camp, no excuses in the ring. I still beat this guy with one hand. But trust me, I still want so-and-so because my hand's going to be healthy and we're going to gonna see what time it is. That's what I would have said. But nonetheless, sometimes guys have a little bad performance. But I don't care what you say, how great Shakir has looked, how great Devin Haney has looked. Ain't none of them, none of them have shown me that they're anywhere close to being a boxer puncher like Floyd Mayweather. So y'all got to stop saying that. I do want to see Shakir Stevenson get back in the ring, see, see what adjustments he can make. This man has great advisors and mentors around him. Terrence Crawford, Andre Ward, promoter who's been around for years. But that Crawford and Andre Ward, you better believe they're going to have a conversation with him that's going to be very real. And what I think is going to happen is they're going to say, give him a rematch. Andre Ward should. Because Andre Ward got in there with Kovalev, didn't he? And Kovalev got robbed in that first fight. I'm not saying De Los Santos got robbed, but Kovalev got robbed. He beat Andre Ward. He hit Andre Ward. Andre Ward was like, you know, don't play with matches. He came back in that rematch, and Andre Ward got busy. And that's what Shakir Stevenson needs to do. Hey, man, you need to get that man a rematch. Come back in there. Dominate him. Don't run to where the man only lands 40 punches because he can't catch up to you because you're running. Mayweather fought Castillo, rematched him. He fought Madonna, rematched him. Shakir Stevenson needs to rematch De Los Santos. And Devin Haney, although I think he beat Lomachenko, he needs to rematch Lomachenko. Barely escaped with a win. You okay with that? Oh, it's on to the next now. Hell no, I ain't going back. You, if, if, you, if you move down the ladder, or if you keep dwelling in the past, you'll miss out on future opportunities. We move up the ladder. We don't reverse. Hell yeah, you don't want to go back down that ladder. And hell yeah, you don't want to dwell in the past because you know what's there. Could disrupt all your plans. Nonetheless, Shakir Stevenson's got some thinking to do. Because 135 is a different weight division. Floyd Mayweather, 130 dominated. 135 dominated. 140 dominated. 147 dominated. 154 handled business for the, the fights he did have there. But that 147-pound that, that division for Floyd, he was too small for that division. 
And he still was out there giving guys the business. That's something else people don't understand. Well, he wasn't knocking everyone out. He was still hurting people and he was getting knocked out. But remember, he's a, guy come, he's a much smaller guy. So he's out there with much bigger guys and handling them. People don't want to put things in perspective. So as far as Devin Haney and Shakir talking about they going up to 147 or 154, let me tell you something. I don't see it happening. Uh, they better figure out 135 and for Devin Haney and see if he can figure out 140 before they even talk about going beyond 140. And for Shakir, he, before he even talks about going beyond 135 because they got some punches out there. And if you don't like getting hit, and you don't want to take the, 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 the risk to let your shots go. You just want to run and move like Arizlandi Lara did against Canelo. I think he'll get a rude awakening because that booing, you know, booing happens. I get it. Booing happens, but that ain't what you want. That's not what your promoter wants. And for someone whose contract is about to end, why would they resign you? Why would they resign you and pay you these, you know, multi multiples of millions? Why would anybody want to sign you? It's the same thing like they did with Terrence Crawford. Great talent. Doesn't put butts in seats. And Demetrius Andre. Canelo. Horrible fighter. Horrible fighter. Right? Payday, payday. Horrible fighter. That's all the stuff they say about Shakir now. But he got an opportunity to bounce back. But he's going to have to figure it out because time ain't on his side. Because I don't think if, if Top Ring don't re-sign him because of him exploring his other op options, with the performances like that, ain't nobody going to want to sign him. They don't care how much of a talent you are. Look at, the, look at the times we're in right now, man. Money drying up. They're cutting fighters from their rosters if you don't deliver. And what they mean by that is putting butts in seats. If they can't make a profit off you, they ain't messing with you. They're rather having Arturo Gotti and Mickey Ward. Skill level ain't nothing near Shakir Stevenson or Devin Haney. But if you can't put butts in seats, and this is more for Shakir Stevenson because he's at a point to where he got to figure out his next move. And if he wants to run the risk of leaving top rank, he, he better figure it out real quick. Because if you can't put butt, butts in seats, they ain't going to mess with you. Even Eddie Hart is out here cutting, cutting fighters. And people going over to the Saudi, so I don't know what Shakir should do. I don't have an opinion. But I do know one thing. If you're going to be Al Capone, you better go all the way and put down the pew pew and pick up a guzza 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 ra ta 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 ra ra. Because that shit you firing in the ring is not scaring anybody. Y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.